Today marks a week since 19-year-old Trent Lurkamp was dropped off at a Brunswick hospital barely breathing his alcohol level almost six times of what law enforcement considers intoxicated. Glynn County Police now investigating what it calls a hazing incident. As we first told you last night, the Georgia Bureau of Investigation has also joined this case. Last night, dozens of people showing up at a vigil in Brunswick to show their support for the 19 year old. Many calling for charges to be filed in this case. But tonight, another day that no one has been arrested or charged in the disturbing attack on the team. WSAD's lead investigative reporter Brett Buffington is live from the hospital in Brunswick tonight. Once again, he has new exclusive details to share. Brett. And Tina, here today we have learned that it was a security guard at this hospital who alerted police. The dispatcher who took his call originally classified this as an assault. Over the weekend, the police department here called it hazing, and people who live in this community do not agree with that. City dispatch. Hello, yes, this is uh, Officer Charles at the hospital. 8.46 p.m. last Tuesday, an officer at this hospital called dispatch just moments after Trent Learcamp was dropped off at the entrance to this emergency room. The three teens who delivered him left their names and took off. For a possible hazing. Hazing? Sun hazed and all, yeah, sun getting hazed. And... Glynn County Police in a statement Monday night says investigators have talked with the teens involved. Tonight, the WSAV investigative unit knows one of those teenagers is Edward Rooker Hobby. This is him in this Snapchat photo standing behind Trent Learcamp. He was 17 years old last November when police took his mugshot, arrested for criminal trespassing. The police report for that arrest says Hobby shattered a mirror and a pot at the house where he lived with his mom. When the police tried to get his side of the story, the officer wrote that Hobby told him to either make an arrest or leave him alone. The teen spent three days in jail, but notable in the 17 year old's police report, his mother told the officer that Javi has a drinking problem. Monday, when we reached out to Javi's mother, St. Simons Island realtor Angela Javi, she told us she was, quote, praying for everyone and all of the families involved. Other than the Lear camps, the WSAV investigative unit has learned at least one of those families is the owner of this St. Simon's hardware store, James and Lauren Strother, who owned this house where at least one of the three attacks on Trent happened. But tonight we simply cannot tell you here who the names of the other teenagers involved in this are, but we know who they are and we are working to learn everything we can about them as we wait to see if anyone will be arrested or charged in Trent Lurkamp's case. We are live in Glen, in Glen County tonight in Brunswick. I'm Brett Buffington, WSAV News 3 on your side. Brett, thank you.